What's up, tech fans? For a long, long time, using two exact video cards in your gaming system to just pump up your gaming performance to the best you could get it was a very popular option. And both SLI and Crossfire for a long while were very popular things to do inside of your computer system. But why did these technologies go to the side of the road and why is nobody using SLI or Crossfire anymore? I mean, why did it die? Let's talk tech. Are you looking for a code for your favorite game? Or maybe you need a new Windows 10 key, but don't want to spend a lot of money? Here's your chance to get the best deals online at CD Key Sales. Game codes are as low as $10, and Windows keys are under $15. And right now, you can save an additional 18% by using the code TT18 during checkout. Buying has also never been easier. Just create your account, select the items that you want, put in the discount code and complete checkout. All of your purchases will be in your account ASAP and all the keys and codes are guaranteed to authorize without a problem. So save big today and buy with confidence with CD Key Sales. Okay, so the very idea of using two cards, no matter what kind of name they want to call it, has been around a long time. Actually, 3D effects before they were bought up by NVIDIA was already introducing an idea of using two cards together to get maximum game performance. And like I said, for a long time, this was a very popular option. I mean, there was one time where people were actually doing four-way SLI configurations. You could do quad crossfire configurations, and it really just kind of got out of hand. I mean, it was really, in a lot of ways, I feel, was just a lot of video card dick wagging. Like, yeah, hey, buddy, uh, my video card system's uh, bigger than yours, man, you know? I mean, because you couldn't just say, you know, my card's 13 inches long, it's longer than yours, because well, I wouldn't mean Jack Diddley. But when you've got four cards in Crossfire SLI, you're like, yeah, man, I am like the Mac freaking daddy of gaming systems because I've got all this power. Well, that right there is one of the main things about this that we'll get to. But to get SLI, or Crossfire support, or NVLink as they're calling it now. You can, like I said, name it any way you want. It's the same thing. You're using two cards, trying to get a lot of performance. Name it however you want. Now, one of the hurdles in this was actually getting game developers who are developing the games to build this into their code. And trust me, it's not just a simple hitting of a switch and saying, oh, okay, here, uh, this card now works with two cards. It wasn't like that. It had to involve a lot of programming hours with people going in there and making sure that the cards can actually take advantage to the absolute best of their ability to use those two cards in conjunction together and you know get performance. And it wasn't a simple thing. And back in the day, um, you know, actually gaming companies back in the day, you know, there were a lot more of them. Uh, they could pay the game developers a lot less, and this became a big issue. It's a whole other video altogether. Want to do that? But they got paid a lot less. So back in the day, you could have a lot of these people doing this code, and as long as Nvidia and as long as ATI, AMD, whoever was making the card at the time was funneling cash to that company to support these features, then sure, they would you know continue to do, to, to continue to do this. But that dried up years ago. Years ago, it dried up, and we've slowly over the last few years, just to where now, you know, NVLink isn't even available unless you get an RTX 3090, which isn't even a gaming card anyway, so it's really only for workstation stuff like that. It's not even part of the gaming world anymore whatsoever. And the reason that I really feel over everything else that this happened is the fact that, you know, you go out and you go buy, let's just say back in the day, you went out and you bought yourself four cards to run an SLI. So you're thinking, okay, man, you know, let's just say, I'm just naming this price. The cards are $500 a piece. So you've just spent $2,000 on cards. Are you actually getting $2,000 worth of performance? F no, you weren't. You were never getting that. So here's how it really go. With another card, you may get 
like jumping up to a higher card. So let's just use this as a reference. I'm just throwing it out there. We're just gonna call this card the, the, the 990, okay? And then the next card is the 1090, right? So usually between those two cards, there was about, you know, 10, 10, 12 frames per second difference usually between the different jumps in cards. It varies a little bit, but not really too much. Having something in SLR Crossfire would mean that, okay, well, it'd be like you had that bigger card, but you're still paying $500 for that card. You're paying the full pop. So if you're not getting the full $500 worth of performance, why are you spending that money? And then when people had three and four cards, by the fourth card, you weren't getting any performance boost at all. Nothing. It was so negligible that, like I said, it just became dick bragging rights. You know, like it'd be like a room, you know, full of people and the guy would be like, you know, I have a single video card. And then somebody would be thinking in their mind, that's so pedestrian. Huh. But in reality, it was just a complete waste of money. I built some of those systems back in the day. Me and Anthony built tons of systems with three cards, four cards, and we started noticing over the years that the performance gains were just getting less and less and less and less. And that's just how it is. Now, for somebody out there who has an old computer and they have a whole lot of old Steam games or whatever games out there, you know, some of the older games actually really did support SLI and Crossfire pretty well. But the thing is, you'd have to go in and do research on that. If you guys would like me to make a video and tell you the absolute best games that actually run even on older technology, let me know in the comments below and I can study and make a video like that. But as the performance just started to wane and wane and wane and wane and wane, there was really no reason for NVIDIA to keep pouring money or AMD to keep pouring money into these developers. And if you're not really going to be getting very much performance, What's the point? I mean, and honestly, even a few generations back, a lot of people didn't take notice about this, even though I tried to scream it on the street, people didn't really take notice of this. NVIDIA hasn't supported more than two cards in NVLink or SLI in many generations of cards. They stopped doing it a long time ago. Sure, people still built them. Sure, why not? You know, it's like that old movie, you know, build it and they will come. Sure, if, you, if, you, if somebody can build a computer with four cards in it and they're actually working, even if you're only getting like 1% performance difference with that fourth card, there were people out there who did it just for bragging rights. And that's just how it is. So, you know, through all of these years and we've seen less money funneled in, we've seen less performance, this technology has really just gone off to the side of the road. Now, I don't know how many people actually really tested, you know, the RTX 3090 in a non-gaming environment. I know people test it with games, even though, you know, Nvidia actually didn't sample me till way later, you would have seen my review. I'd actually shake the tree a little bit. I don't know why the f they didn't sample me, but they just didn't. They said it's not a gaming card, even though everybody reviewed these things for gaming. But the real question is, is how did those cards work together though in like rendering and you know building stuff, doing stuff in the 3D environment and doing something and those type of things. And that's why you haven't really seen our review. We're kind of holding off to do the absolute best in the environment that that card is actually meant for because it's not really a gaming card. It's not. People can use it for gaming. People use other cards for gaming, even though they weren't. They had Titans and all this other stuff. They were never really geared totally for gaming. They were for other things. Why do you think they cost so freaking much? So that is why though, SLI and Crossfire just completely die. You have lack of support, lack of performance, lack of money being poured in. So therefore, why even have it anymore? Sure, they have NVLink on the RTX 3090, but none of the other cards have it. So that's pretty much it. I thank you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts and opinion. Um, honestly, I know there's some people out there who will probably still say, yeah, I'm gonna get an RTX 3090 and I'm going to NV link these things for my gaming rig. You're really wasting your time, man. Honestly, 40 gigabytes of available memory that you really can't access. The VRAM, you're not gonna be able to access between both cards for gaming. So what's really the point? I guess you just wanna have those dick bragging rights. Well, hey, guess what, buddy? You'll have the biggest schwanking one on the entire block but it's a waste of money. Anyways, I'm Elric. Thanks for watching Tech of Tomorrow. I appreciate your viewership. If you'd like to sub to the channel, hey, please hit that sub button, but make sure you turn notifications. You'll never know that I'm making new videos. This holiday season, lots of new releases are coming up. I have lots of new videos coming up, exciting stuff. So stick around, 
stay tuned and we got lots of cool stuff coming. And if you'd like to support the channel, but don't have money, all you need to do is try Amazon Prime for free. I'll have a link down below. You can check that out. Also, if you buy any of the gaming codes that we showed, make sure you hit the discount code TT18 and save yourself some additional money. So peace out. Thanks for watching.